your manager could even tell people this. Is it true Michael Bay, the director, called you in for a meeting to be part of Transformers 2, the movie? Yes. Yeah. And you had a meeting with Michael Bay? Robin, right. honest to God, Beat did. Wait, where's Bobby? He'll tell this story. Let Bobby tell this story. Because I would love well, to have been in that. Well, movie. if you want to, it's up to you if you want to. Yeah. I, if you want me to bring him in, I'll bring him in. I mean, just That's for a second so he can tell the story about Michael Bay. Okay. Uh, Bobby, uh, tell us the story about Michael Bay. What happened with Beetlejuice when he met the famous director? Well, we got a phone call from the casting director. Go ahead. Transformers 2. And, Did uh, you fuck Ma Megan Fox, uh, Beat? Who? Megan Fox, the girl on the Transformers? Oh, I probably did. Maybe while he wasn't even looking. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Tell Maybe he me... was in the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> Tell me about <laughs> Good for you. Maybe you couldn't find us. Can you read that back to me, Laura, please? It was something secret you never can find. Especially what he just said right there. <laughs> what did he say? Maybe he couldn't find us. He was in the bathroom. It was some, something sacred. Ah, sacred. Okay. Bobby, what happened when Beat met uh, the great director, yes. Michael Bay? So we got a phone call from... How the, long ago are we talking? This is, I guess, uh, whenever Transformers 2, I guess about two, three years ago. Now get close to that mic. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so they, uh, she says that Michael Bay's a big fan, and he's thinking about what? using Beatles' voice. Wow. For uh, one of the characters, so you know, would it be okay if we came and met him at Princeton University? So wow. Beat was why was Beat at? Oh, he he was shooting at Princeton he was University. Shooting at Princeton, yeah. And he wanted. I was like, to all down. of this is wrong. Beat yeah. at University. <laughs> Beat, I love that you were at Princeton University. The kids must have gone nuts over there. Oh right? yeah, they yeah. probably did. Yeah, it, it's a great. They probably went crazy. That's a great academic institution, isn't it? His alma mater. Yeah. <laughs> did you in fact go to Princeton? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, when did you graduate? <laughs> I graduated in 1981. Is Good for you. Uh, Bobby, 84. You finished college? <laughs> Early college, and then and I still went. All right. So you so Michael Bay says, come meet us over at uh, Princeton, Princeton University. University. So right. we get there. Uh, they put us in a room, <clears throat> and Michael Bay pulls up wow. in a golf cart, and uh, he's got a laptop with him. Get close to that microphone. I don't want to miss a word. He has of it. a laptop with him, and he gets out. He gets out, and uh, he says, "Hey, beat man, I'm a big fan. Great to meet you. I love your voice. I want you to see something." He opens up the laptop, and he has a character of Beetlejuice with, uh, of one, you know, one of the uh, robots with <laughs> Beetlejuice's voice. Right. So he says, "Come check this out," and beat. He's in one of his moods, so right away, it's, oh, it's no. not. Look, so he goes, check this out, man. I'm a big fan. He goes, yeah, good for you. Peter oh. says to him, wow, good for you. He goes, yeah, I want you to see this. You know, you got a great voice. I love your voice. Check it. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me, pal. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> So then, uh, Beat looks at Beat. Why know, were you so angry with Michael Bay? I mean, what 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 set you off about this guy character? Well, I asked him if he wants to do it, but he didn't want to do it. So I said. Well, I put my boys in for nothing. I say, why you just get me in? Why you just leave? Why you leave and then you don't want to put me in? I say, well, I take your movie and I put your fucking boss on it. And then I took it shit. Uh, excuse me for a minute, Beat. Laura, can you read that back to me, please? <laughs> Well, I asked him if he wants to do it, but he didn't want to do it. So I said, I bring my boys in for something. Why you just get me in? Why you just leave? Why you leaving? Why you didn't want to put me in? I said, well, I take you, your movie and I put your fucking balls on it. Boy, you're a good stenographer. Man, yeah, she captured everything. <laughs> Why in court they can't use a tape recorder? I don't know. But that, how many keys you got on that little machine? I'm not even sure. I think there's 22. 22 keys, and you got all that? Yep. God bless you. You're a genius. <laughs> Two geniuses. Beetlejuice and you, Laura. Uh, so be, so get, let's get back to the story. Michael Bay walks in. He's got the computer. Beat's there for the meeting. Michael Bay, famous director, is thinking of using Beat's voice in the movie. Go ahead. Yeah, so then um, he goes, Beat, I love your voice. He goes, And he turns to another guy. He goes, tell this guy to shut up. So B turns to him and goes, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> was Michael Bay testing B in a way to see if he could be workable for the voice character? Yeah, apparently, because we never got called back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Michael Bay left with his laptop, and that was the end of it. Yes. B, that would have nope. been a great job for you. No, I did it because he was, he was an asshole. Was he an asshole? Yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> Were you so disappointed, he, he was Bobby? Like yeah. a tough guy, so I took him out and said, well, you know, I said, well, your little buddy over there want to act like a little tough guy. 
So I took him on, and I, I laid his ass out. You know what I love about you, and I'll say this to the day I die, Beat. You are not a show business phony. You go in there. You don't care how big the director is. You don't care who it is. If you think the guy's an asshole, you will tell him. I told him to his face. Right. Mm. And you and you knew there were millions of dollars on the line, and you still did that. Yeah, and I, and I did it in the way, and I told the guy, I said, hey, why are you trying to act like a fucking tough guy? So I, so I next day, he came back, and he act like a nice guy. Right. Then the last all of a sudden... He brought his boys in, act like a little fucking tough guy. Anybody? So I took his friend and I knocked him the fuck out. Anybody want to hear Laura repeat that? Yes. All right, Laura, what did he just say? <laughs> yeah, and I did it, and I told the guy, I said, hey, why are you trying to act like a fucking tough guy? So next time, next day he came back and act like the nice guy. He poured his poison out like a fucking, and I knocked him the fuck out. He uh, mumbled. I didn't get the part. Well, the good for you. <laughs> That's oh, pretty thank good. Thank goodness B. you're not getting it all. She, she did, it's like your Moses. Everything you say, she puts in stone. Uh, I got to tell you, you need to keep her with you. Uh, B, so, 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 Bobby, when something like this goes, you were probably dreaming of a really great gig for B. Did you explain to him ahead of time just how important uh, Michael Bay was? Yes. I told him this guy loves you. He's a great guy. He's good. We know him from years ago. And You try to prepare yeah. him. Wow. When Beetle is in these moods, does he just wake up that way? The beat. Some days you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Am I correct? Oh, when I wake up beside the bed, when I want to hit somebody, I would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you just get angry sometimes? You just like fuck the world. Hey. When you got to do it, you got to do it. What do you think your anger is all about? I mean, do you just like just say, hey, you know, people, I just don't like people or something? Well, I ain't sound like people, but you know. He tried to act like a, like a tough guy in front of his friends. Yeah. So I took him out, so I knocked him out. All right. So what's going on now with Beatty? That's he's living, the end of it. Bobby, he's living with you? No, he's living with his mom in Georgia. He's just up with me, you know, for a couple months. I see. So in other words, his mom released him uh, to work? Yeah. I see. Actually, just to visit, and in the meantime, we booked a few things, so... Is Beat a, a difficult house guest when you have him over, or is he uh, pretty much easy? Somewhat. He's difficult, yeah. What's the hardest nah. part of uh, having Beat as a house guest? No, nah, he's fine. He's fine. Do he's you looking, wish he could, he's giving me that eye. He's fine. Do you wish he could have Beat full time? Because I'm sure he could generate a lot of money. Do you ever say to his mom, "Look, let me just have Beat full time at the house"? No. You don't. You don't say that. No. Oh, he <laughs> said it to me not. a couple of times. Yeah, Beat. Would he's you? Lying, where would you prefer living? Would you prefer living with Bobby or with your mom? I can live with my mom. It don't make a difference. She treats you right? Oh, my mom treats me okay. Do you ever fight with your mom? Do you ever say, hey, look, a little no, back I off? I never fight with my mom. Do you ever to say to her, hey, I'm a grown man, I need my space? Oh, oh no, I have my own space in my own room. You but do? I don't say anything, but, but can you my mom drink be there, but I don't say anything. Uh, Robin can you, S drink, yeah. and smoke can you drink and smoke? Can you have pussy in your, in your yeah. excuse me, Laura, but can you, can you have p women over in your uh, room and stuff at your mom's house? No, nah, well, she's not there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're sneaking girls in? Oh, a couple of times. Can you smoke in front of your mom, or is she didn't Oh, lie? yeah. Oh, yeah? You can drink, too? I can drink, too. Wow. Oh, she's a pretty liberal mom. Right. Oh, my mother can't tell me nothing. I'm a grown man. I can do uh, anything I want. Right. Yeah. Well, I t is no Beetle a tough I'm a grown man. I do what the fuck I want to do. When Beetle says he's a grown man, do, do what he wants to do. He's right. Uh, Bobby, how do you control that situation? I mean, uh, he's fun. he disappears once in a while. He'll just get up and... and the movie theater is about a half a mile away. He'll just walk to the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I just get my head straight. That's about it. Walk. Hold on. Michael Bay is on the phone, the director. Let me see what he says. Mr. Bay, hello. Who the fuck are you? Hey, 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 hey. Easy does it. What the fuck? Are you God? Well, listen. He didn't want to do the movie. He said you were a chump. Who gives a shit if I'm in your good... Who the fuck are you that I have to be in your good graces? <laughs> know what? Go fuck yourself, you little piece of shit. Right. I come in there, I'll murder your motherfucking ass, boy. I'll suck this. Ooh. I'll fucking murder you so hard, boy. You'll be dead in a week, boy. Holy shit, you couldn't fucking headline a shoebox. Yeah, I'll stomp your little stumpered ass. You guys were... Give a shit about being in your... Yeah, position. I'll dump your ass in the fucking grave, Rob, and leave your ass but there, Pete, boy. But Pete, the guy wanted to give you work, and now he's acting like a douche. He's a guy. fucking douchebag. Yeah. Mr. Bay... I'll fucking murder his ass. Shit. What? In fucking two minutes. Tell the fucking truth. Hey, he is... Hey, well, let me handle I'll this. I'll fucking murder your ass in two yeah, weeks, boy. Yeah, Pete's my friend. Don't you talk that way. See, they're all fucking liars. 
I'm oh, a fucking liar. Me? You, I'm a fucking liar. I think he called you, me. Look at you. You're a fucking douchebag. Yeah. I'll douche fucking bag. marry your ass in two weeks, boy. Yeah, I'm, asshole. I'm done with you guys. All right, goodbye. Yeah, I'm done with you. We're done you with you. Shit. We're yeah. done with you. I'm done yeah. with you, you piece of garbage. You can't fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, look at your blades, you piece of garbage. Well, then fuck you. Yeah. If you Go don't fuck your sister, too, and you fuck all your old yeah, family. Your sister. The whole fucking family, you bitch. Pete, I love you. You little bitch. Yeah. Why don't you come fight me then, you little faggot? I'll suck this. I'll beat the shot, you little... I'll stop your ass. <laughs> All right, enough with this guy. Hey, Pete, I love when you and me team up against these guys. Oh, he, they ain't nothing but pussies. He was saying bad shit about me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I he told him He going to say it in my face, but he won't say it to you, though. Thanks for sticking up for me. I mean, I mean it. Thank you. All right. So... Let me get this right, Bobby. He turns down Transformers 2, right? <laughs> Beats <laughs> takes a meeting. Yes. And even though he's at Princeton and he's there with Michael Bay, it's just, he just doesn't want Disaster. to end there. Disaster. Yeah. Did you call up Mr. Bay afterwards and say, yeah, Mr. Did Bay, you uh, please? It was like one of those. Don't call me. I'll call you. I see. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you think could have been in it? I probably people? flushed about a quarter million down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the money. The money ain't no but garbage. Right. Well, what are you going to do? That, you got the right attitude, Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just sad because that could have set up Beetle, a college fund for Beetle would have been <laughs> and his children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, Beat, you're the best. Let me see what, what let me let me ask you about some of these things that Beat's up to, okay? Because you got a laundry list of things you're doing here. I guess you're in for a couple of months. And Beatle will work for a couple of months and then for the rest of the year he's off? Yeah. I see. That's how wow, it works. Wow, nice nice way yeah. to live, Beatle. Way to go, Beatle. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how's the room over at Bobby's house? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. So how's the food over at Bobby's house? Oh, it's it's great. He feeds it's you? Great. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. 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 Well, it says here, uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day with Beetlejuice at the Draft House in Long Branch, New Jersey. Right? That's a big gig. Uh, it's not a Michael Bay movie, but okay. <laughs> uh, don't miss Beat at the Ronnie Munn Jamaican Getaway in what? Jamaica. Another thing I'm thrilled with. Uh, that'll be the Ronnie Munn Block Party at the Hard Rock Cafe in Boston. I guess, Beat, you're now in with Ronnie. You're part of that whole scene? Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't yell at him. Nah, Ronnie, Ronnie's like, all right. Ronnie? You like Ronnie? Ronnie's all right. He's a good person. Yeah, he acts nice to you. He's yeah, not, he's, he's a good driver. Yeah, he's not like Michael, Michael Bay. Bay must he? have messed up terribly. Oh, yeah. Don't, he, even, don't even mention that guy. He gets drunk in class like the last time. You know, Michael Bay, like you mentioned that to you and you go berserk. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Last time he crashed, he was drunk. Guy almost got, he almost killed us in that damn truck. <laughs> that damn car. Laura, can you read that back to me? <laughs> I missed that. Me, Sean, Joe, would have went down and nigga ran to a damn tree. What? I didn't get that. You didn't get that? <laughs> I didn't get that. And you call yourself a stenographer? <laughs> He's mumbling. I didn't get that. All right, all right. I'll let what you off on that. What a he was. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you say Ronnie's a good driver. Does he drive you, in fact? Oh, he drives. He's real good. Yeah, so in other words, when you do these gigs, he'll drive you. And, yeah. Okay. And Bobby, do you go on these uh, the gigs with Beetle? Will you be in the cruise and all that? No, I'm going to have to talk to Ronnie. I didn't know Ronnie was bringing him around. No, no. Me and Ronnie always, we always get the good gigs. Right. Me and Ronnie. We always yeah. go to the good places. Yeah. I can't believe it. Ronnie's a whole player now, you know. Used Me to be, and Ronnie go to the good places. Used to be a driver. Now all of a sudden he's right. a big shot. Right. All right. See Beetlejuice at Fight Night at the Birchwood Manor in Whippany, New Jersey. Now, what goes on there? Oh, I got a lot of fighters. What's he going to be doing there, Bobby? Well, he's an advisor to several uh, professional <laughs> fighters, so he's going to be leading some of his guys to the ring. Is that true? Yes. I didn't know that. Uh, so you're part of the boxing match, and you actually stand with the fighters? That's right. And you'll tell them what to do? That's right. right. You're I'm, in their corner. Yeah. That's right. Good for you. Is boxing too dangerous? They're talking about boxing might be too dangerous. That it can lead to concussion. Brain can, damage. Brain damage. Do you worry about brain damage? Me? Nah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Follow Beat on Twitter at <laughs> Beetle Pimp. Why is your name Beetle Pimp on Twitter? Oh, well, I don't know. They just put it on there. I don't know. <laughs> Beetlejuice was taken. What happened, Bobby? Was Beetlejuice taken? Yeah. It was. Yeah, okay. About 50 times. I see. All right, Beetle Pimp. I follow you, uh, Beetle Pimp. Uh, it's fabulous when you tweet. 
Thanks to uh, also Veritex for providing the court stenographer today. I got to say, Lori, you're very good. Uh, you missed a couple of times. I didn't miss. He was mumbling. He was mumbling. <laughs> mumbling. See, if you were a judge, no, you'd I wasn't said, mumbling. You I was doing it right. <laughs> Give up, Robin. <laughs> Trying to get a word in is impossible. Now, Beetle, when you walked in, you were dressed as the Pope, and you were holding a Beetlejuice head. What's going on with the Beetlejuice head? Because it's fantastic. Well, the Beetle head was that for you. Thank I you. I bought it for you. Is that something really? that you sell? No, that's... Uh, this is fabulous. This, he, in this the, the movie. one I did the head with. Let me see. Hold it up, Beetle. What's going on here? Hold this it. Look at you. Robin. you got to see this thing. This I is a head, head of Beetlejuice. This, this is just the head. Who buddy. made this? This is fabulous. It looks, so it's real. looks amazing, but it's Girls just gone for you, dead. Though. The Girls Gone Dead movie that he oh. did with Sal. Wow, Beetle, uh, it, it, do you believe you look like that? It looks just like me. Yeah. <laughs> I got it for you because you're, you're a great man. I got to tell you, I love it. Thank you so much. This is an actual head. Take a picture yeah. and put this right up on HowardStern.com. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Take what a picture of that. What happened to Beetle in that movie? Yeah, did you get your head cut off in the movie? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. That's for you. This did is you a... enjoy doing that movie, Beetle? Oh yes. Yeah, but the Transformers he couldn't do. This one he, this one. Forget he did. about the Transformers, honey. Right. Uh wow, this is fantastic. Woman on the phone says she loves you, Beat. Let's talk to her. Her name is Howie oh, Adams. Here's Howie... the cover for you, Kyle. Oh, thank you. So you don't I'm, Yeah, I'm, you don't want to mess up your If you don't mind, I'm gonna keep this in the studio like right here to be on TV every day, you know? Okay. I love it. Uh, right. Here's Howie Etta. Let's talk to her. Howie Etta, good morning and, and welcome to uh, Beetlejuice. Hey. Hi. Yeah, you want to meet me in the back alley? This girl is coming on to you, Beat. Uh, tell us more. Hi. Um, do you have any scumbags? Wow. Beetle, are you going to talk to him? Uh, some <laughs> they, your... they ain't no, they ain't no girl. Uh, are, are Who's he a... trying to fool? Yeah, I'm going to take yeah, my Yeah, a guy will try to fool off. somebody. Who you think I'm stupid? <laughs> are you a girl? Right. Uh, honey, what do you want to say to me? What time do you get off work? The hell is this? <laughs> That's fucking... Who the hell is trying you... to play that show off? <laughs> honey, I can't fool gonna... nobody. Yeah, you're not fooling anybody, honey. Yeah, you want to meet me in the back alley? <laughs> Must be stupid. <laughs> well, Beat, it's been a pleasure. Uh, Beetle Pope, if I may. Uh, Beat dressed up as a Pope was brilliant. Bobby, did you dream that up? No, that was him. That was Beetle yeah. came up with that. Good for you, Beat. Fabulous stuff. Anything you want to say to my audience before you leave? Any words of wisdom? Anything you've learned? <laughs> ain't got nothing to say about it. No, no words wisdom. With, no wisdom whatsoever, right? <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Well, Beat, I love you. Uh, don't ever change, as they say. I would never do. The one and only Beetlejuice, ladies and gentlemen, and his manager, Bobby, who, for about a couple of months, he can take Beat and put him out on the road, and then he sends him back home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not kidding. And I want to thank you, uh, Laura, right? Uh, yes. Laura, thank you. Uh, you're you, welcome. you did an excellent job. Thank you. Uh, there was almost an impossible job you did. <laughs> she and, did a really good job at an impossible job. Yes. And now, Laura, read the whole segment. Everything Beetle said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby, anything else you want to say about no, Beetle and good. his fans? You want to say anything? No. Follow Everybody Beetle good. Beetle Pimp. Beetle P at Beetle Pimp. Dot, yeah, uh, at yeah, Beetle Pimp. Dot Beetle Pimp dot com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Beetle. Go, All right, go we'll, look for that. For another week. All right. Uh, by the way, I, there was one instrument I didn't... Beetle also plays harmonica. This is from a... Really? This is... I recorded Beetle. Listen to this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Fabulous. You remember playing that, Beetle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to be back with Jenny McCarthy. You know her. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful blonde. You might want to hit on her when yeah. you Yeah. You might want to uh, meet her on the way out, if you know what I mean, Beetle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll like her. And we'll be back right after I'll these. I'll hit that, too. Yeah, I Ooh. bet you will. Don't get too sexed <laughs> up. She's a big oh, star. Oh, she know I hit it. I know. Uh, you'll have to ask her about that when she gets there. <laughs> Hey, you got a cold beat? You sound like uh, you got a little congestion. Do yeah, you? a little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. You still smoking? No, nah, not really. No, you couldn't. Once quit. in a while, but not much. All right, good for you. And uh, the great Beetlejuice at Beetle Pimp. All right, and thank you again to Veritex for sending over Laura Sabino. We'll be back right after these words. Be great, son. Awesome, bro. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Beat. You're the best. Did awesome right. today, man. Oh, oh next yep. week I'm gonna. Uh, I got a couple of things me you talk about. Okay. Oh, uh, we gonna have. Uh, I gotta take you out of lunch or something. <laughs>
Alright, wonderful. Which I love you. A Vulture restaurant or something. I would love it. I got a van out, maybe. Best of luck for everything. Say hi to your mom for me, too. Uh, Thank you, B. I would definitely do that. All right, B. Later. Do TV with you. Definitely, I'm about to be driving the car now, you know. I know. I'll see you, B. All right, Hal. You're a cool man. Your holiness. Oh, Beetle. Could I see you with your hat on again? <laughs> no, thank you, Dick. I did it because he was like, he was an asshole. Was he an asshole? Yeah. I've heard that. <laughs>